Yo, magandang araw, magandang gabi. This is Junox and welcome to the podcast. This is episode 11 of Band Talks TV. Mga kasama natin ngayong araw, pinakabatang sound engineer, isang composer at isang drummer, son of the late Jamir Garcia. Please welcome Seven Garcia. Great. Yeah, you know? Welcome. Glad to be here, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you sa pagpaunlak sa aking munting podcast. Kamusta yung mga recent gigs and mga projects mo ngayon? Honestly, great. Pag, ano, let's talk about like panang gigs muna. Yeah. So, like when it comes to gigs, it's like a really big experience for me with my band because most of the time, Sky Church, uh, I like to get invited by Sky Church and play with them. But like this is the very like first time Mm-mm. like I'm actually with a proper band that's my band yeah. like we are together like makasing age ko lang yeah so like lahat kami na parang shock din na parang ang daming gigs nagmaano sa amin oh caliber project kunin ka namin dito dito so gigs so far have been really great yeah. they're only like ano some some ano some gigs na medyo sour but we won't mention them yeah. and when it comes to ano like projects that I'm working on. I'm currently working on about three albums, two of which are my personal albums and one of which will be my band's album, yeah. which is our debut, which yeah. is we're planning 12 songs for that. So hopefully either by this year or early next year, we'll release yun. Yeah. For my personal albums, naman, um, depende na lang sa akin. Sa mood na lang. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> De- depende sa, ano, sa magiging takbo din ng yung progress mo, di ba? Mm. Yeah. Kasi marami nangyayari sa, ano eh, sa like work or even school na nakakaan eh. So, kung may oras na nun, di ba? Yeah. Kamusta pala yung, ano, yung, bands, yung band mo ngayon, na, which is yung Caliber Project, paano pala na-establish yung band na yan? Yun, okay. So, we've been actually waiting for this question our entire lives. We've been talking about this ever since day one. Pa, sabi ko, pag, ano, pag lahat kami interview sabi ko, pag may nagsabi sa amin, may nagtanong sa amin, Paano na establish yung band? Ang magsasagot. Ang magsasagot. Kasi yeah. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. So, I don't know if you guys are familiar with memes, pero merong, ano, merong meme dati, yung release ng movie Rise of Minions, ano, ng Despicable Me. And then yung meme nun, ano, magsusuot ko ng suit papunta yeah. sa, ano, as a big group. Kunyari, parang, mapogi-pogi kayo, nakasuit kayo, sobrang fancy, tas manunod lang ng yeah. minions. Yeah. Then, so, in-invite ko yung mga ano, kabanda ko kasi mga kaibigan lang kami nun. Mm-hmm. In-invite ko sila and kasi since sa QC yun, tas taga-bulakan ako, I had to um, stay at their house. So, like, dun, dun nag-start talagang the day after minions, parang sabi namin, you know, we should, ano, since marunong tayo mag-instruments, we should start a band. Ganun, talagang. Yeah. So, What I can say in short is next start kami mostly because of minions. <laughs> Kasi sa movie na yan, nag-get together kami tas nag na kami talagang meet up sa mga songs and stuff. Yeah. So dun talaga kami na strike parang oh parang pwede tong banda namin eh. Kasi ano kami um like school band kami for years mm. na talaga pero So high school band. Mm. Yeah. Mm, apa. Like we you never actually like considered um tarang seryosohin yung banda. Yeah. Kasi lahat kami sobr- sobrang iba dyan. May isa indie, may isa alt-rock, may isa ano, J-pop or J-rock. Ako metal. So parang may... Mix talaga. Mm, may mix. So eventually, we didn't know what to do with that kasi school band pa lang kami. Tapos di kami masyado motivated sa music na eh, kasi school yeah. band lang. So nung talagang nag-meet up kami sa Minions, dun talagang ano kasi... Pag nag-sleepover ka sa katropa mo, alam mo na may mga kalakuhan mangyayari. <laughs> <laughs> Matik yun, lalo high school, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, dun, mas naging ka-close kami talaga dun, tas nag-start mag-band. So, kung, basically, in short, if you want to know how Caliber Project started, all from Minions. <laughs> <laughs> Sino palang nag-isip ng name na Caliber Project? Another great question na inihintay din namin. <laughs> Yung name namin, wala talagang meaning. As in, yeah. ginugil lang namin parang generator, parang cool band name generator. Yeah. Original name naman, namin dapat is, ano, there were multiple names, pero yung pinagpilian namin dalawa is either Fire by the Bay or Caliber Project. So, pinili mm. namin Caliber Project kasi parang ma, ma indie or all-track yung Fire by the Bay, pero gusto namin talagang mabigat na metal. Yeah. So, Caliber Project parang bullet talagang mabigat yun. So, mm. mostly... 
ano, name generator kasi parang tatlong oras kami nag-iisip ng pangalan. Wala kami makuha kung maganda eh. <laughs> Introduce mo naman yung mga members para sa mga walang idea kung sino yung Caliber Project. So, introduce the members. Of um, so, of course, you got me. Ako yung drummer and ako din yung sound engineer. I really love ano yung i talagang sound engineer. Pag, if ever a label comes up to us tas nag offer ng sound engineering, ayoko. Gusto mm. kailangan ako. Ayun mm. talaga passion ko. So, of course, I'm the drummer. And then, introduce ka naman yung mga ibang members ko, which is, we'll start with yung rhythm guitarist namin, Rafael Kasibang, one of the most genuine people that I've met, one of the greatest people. Talagang, ang bilis niya matuto kasi yung, ano niya, genre niya dati, parang, ano, nirvana, shoegaze, tas medyo mapajazz pa. Mm-hmm. Talagang, ne, hindi siya talaga into metal, as in. But ever since nasa banda siya, mas magaling na siya magsulat ng kanta sa kanta, mas mabilis. <laughs> ang galing matuto, talagang, Kasi dati sa ano, Caliber Project, like, first, ano, first weeks ng Caliber Project, ako talaga lahat. Kasi hindi yeah. pa sila sanay sa lahat. So, tas hindi pa, alam, hindi pa alam kung anong genre eh. So, mm-hmm. metal, rock, kung anong nalang magawa. Kung anong kanta nalang magawa. Meron pa kami new metal dati. Uh-huh. So, yun talagang, ako lahat, nakahirap. Ngayon, talagang, wala na akong magawa. Drummer na talaga ako. Hang- uh-huh. Hanggang drums na tao, tsaka mix. Mm-hmm. So, si Rafael kasi ibang talaga. One of, one of my greatest friends, I'm staying at his place right now. And, what genuinely one of the greatest people I've met when it comes to uh, Natalaga um, learning. Yeah. Chaka yung next guitarist naman namin ano, lead si Kiera Castillo. Um he's a one of my like uh, greatest singers that I've ever met so far na ka age ko lang. He's a fantastic clean singer. So yeah. brang galing din mag lead guitar talaga and super enthusiastic. Chaka bro is funny. Yeah. Bro is really funny. He's like it's kind of dull without him. Although, medyo, ano, medyo makulit din siya. Parang ako, mm-hmm. makulit kami parehas, tsaka mata ako pag may pagkain. <laughs> pag may in-offer na pagkain, syempre, kukunin namin. Uh-huh. Yung mga iba, ay hindi, okay lang po. Kami talaga, susubo namin yung kakainin <laughs> diretso. Uh-huh. Eh, kami talaga, parang tight kami. Kasi parang, when it comes to the band, kami yung pinamatagal na mm-hmm. nag-meet. So, kami talaga yung ano, first meet namin, computer shop nga. So, yun mm-hmm. talaga yung common game. So, He's a great guy and really fun to be with. And next naman namin yung basis namin, which is our recent addition, actually. Mm. Kasi, ano, first, ano, first months ng Caliber, apat lang kami. Yeah. So, guitarist, ano, guitarist, bassist, um, tawag dito, vocalist, then drummer. Ap- mm. So, apat lang kami. So, we felt a little hindered. Medyo mm. parang, ah, maganda itong lead, but we can't do it. Isa lang yung namin. So, uh, we took, uh, I took, uh, I took that duty to, uh, text, um, my bassist who is Sion, uh, and Ciso. Yeah. Great bassist, great dude. Siya yung pinakamatanda sa amin, parang, ano siya, 20 up na siya, tal- uh, so talagang mas matanda siya sa amin. Pero, we don't view age, talagang yeah. magkatropa talaga kami, super mm-hmm. tight. He's actually from my very first band. Caliber Project is not my first band, it's my second band. Yeah. First band ko, it was Lavenders, and he was the bassist then dun. Mm-hmm. But, ka, things kind of went awry in that band because walang halos walang progress, and we didn't really have a direction with things. Mm-hmm. So, I eventually quit that band after a few years, and then a few years down the road, we made Caliber Project in a few months, we met him, Nag-gig, nag-studio kami, nag-gig kami, and talagang he's so much fun to be with. Talagang yeah. katropa talaga namin. Kasi we could have the greatest bassist of all time. Yeah. Pero mas maganda talaga yung kaano mo eh. Diba? Ka-vibes mo talaga. O, talagang ka-connect mo. Kasi pag hindi mo ka-vibe, parang business as usual. Yeah, diba? yeah. Palagi siya. Siya lang yung dumadalo sa mga bahay namin. Uy, uh, Rafael, punta ako sa bahay mo. Magre-record ako. Ganun. Uh-huh. Ang motivated talaga siya mag, mm-hmm. ano, mag-banda. So, I'm so glad we got him. Kasi now, talagang... Kasi previously si Rafael, siya yung nagbe-bass dati. Mm-mm. But now, siya yung nag-guitar and that opened up a whole new layer of things. Yeah. So, yung last but not the least naman, Vocalist namin. Yeah. Si Skyler Remejio. Mm-hmm. Great dude and also one of the fastest learning people I've met. As in, like, he's a great singer. He was previously guitarista, ng, ano, rhythm guitarist ng Caliber Project. Yeah. Then we moved him to frontman vocalist. Mm-hmm. Kasi, ano, gusto niya talaga nga, ano, maging frontman. Parang i-honor niya papa niya. Kasi papa niya nasa banda din, tayo siya frontman. So, gusto, mm-hmm. gusto niya talaga siya maging frontman kasi frontman naman dati si Kiera pero si Kiera medyo maano siya eh para 
talagang focus na focus siya sa ano, guitar. Yeah. Gustong gusto niya. Parang, uh, like the time where siya pa rin yung vocalist si Sky pa rin gitara. Bumili si Kiera ng gitara, si Sky bumili ng mic. E eh, balik na the rules. <laughs> so, Nagkabaliktad sila. Uh, so, eventually, nag-switch na din kami. Mm-mm. So, iyon naging vocalist na siya. And my God, ang bilis matuto. Like, I've been the one that's screaming sa mga songs namin like four hours, ganun, aggression. Ako yung nag-scream doon yeah. kasi di pa siya marunong as in sobrang weak ng eh, parang pag ganun uh-huh. scream niya eh. And I've been screaming for like two, three years na. So talagang mm. may power ako. After like seven, eight months, wala na ako. Parang mm. mas sobrang lakas ng scream niya. Unbelievable. Like, uh, inarol niya talaga. Like, Committed. Yeah. Completely. Binili niya lahat ng DVD ni Will Ramos. Ganon. <laughs> ng White Lorna Chapel. Shore. Mm, Lorna Shore. Talagang kinarilin niya yung vocals. As in, mm-hmm. parang ito yung range ko dati ng screams that dito siya dati. Ngayon, wala na ako. Tanggalin mo na ako. Nasa na siya. <laughs> And I'm not overcompensating. If you pa, just stay tuned for our newest album, once narinig mo pa talaga vocals niya, whew, I can't believe it. Minsan, nasaselos ako sa kanya kasi gusto <laughs> ko yung scream mo, dude. Bigay mo nga sa akin. Ano uh-huh. yung secrets mo, techniques mo? Mm-hmm. Parang, the master becomes the student. Yeah. <laughs> Talagang, kinarin niya tala. So, mm-hmm. all in all, those are all my band members. Si Kiera, si Rafael, si Sion, and Skyler, and then me. Yeah. So, talagang tight kami as brothers. As yeah. in, like, lahat ng humor namin talagang magkaanan talaga eh. Mm-hmm. So, yun. We talk to each other every day and that's pretty much it. That's Caliber Project for you. Mga ulo lang kami mga bata na <laughs> kung ano lang magawa eh. Sa mga wala ding idea, di ba, sabi nila, oh, bata pa to, ganyan. Pero may nagtatanong, anong age mo na ngayon? Right now, I'm actually 18. I am the second youngest member of Caliber Project. The youngest is Rafael Casibang. So, I started mga music parang, let's say, 14, 15? Mm. Mga ganun, mga 2018 ko na quad drums ko. But I got really serious into music production, guitars, mixing and everything. Mga around 2020, 2019, late 2019, early 2020, ganun. Mm. Sa garage band pa ako, nagmimix ng songs. Bagong yeah. umaga, if you've heard that song kami ng papa ko, mm-hmm. ano yun, sa, um, sa iPad ko, hindi, sa phone ko lang yun ginawa eh. Uh, Kasi wala pa akong pera pang PC nun eh. Yeah. So, na nagka-PC ako, nag-able to now, whoa, that, <laughs> talagang, ang daming options, compressors, tape saturator, lahat ginamit ko na. Uh-huh. So, talagang nakumit ako dun. So, like, to go back on topic, mostly 18 ako, sa si Rafael, 18 din. Lahat kami 18, Si Kiera, I believe, 19. Tapos si Kuya Sion, which is our oldest, is 20 pa taas. 22, maybe something like that. Yeah. Di ba nag-sessions ka din sa mga ibang bands? Kwento mm-hmm. mo naman yung journey, how come na kinuha ka. Like sa Sky Church, di ba may one gig akong napanood na meron kang drum cam. Nandun din si Papa mo mm-hmm. that time. Uh, it was mostly just through contact of my dad. Kasi nung early back in my days, talagang nakita niya ako nagda-drum sa garage band kasi wala lang ako magawa sa kawatsi. Uh-huh. Talagang gusto mo mag-drums, gusto mo mag-drums. Ito, next week, bilhin na kita ng drums agad. <laughs> Parang wala pa ako sinasabi. Gusto ko lang maglaro ng kahit ano sa phone ko. Tapos bigla ako binala ng drums kasi he dream talaga ng papa ko magka-anak ano, na musician. Yeah. That's his number one dream. So whenever he shares like any of us na parang gusto ko nang parang gusto ko mag ganito ah, talagang kakaril niya buy this buy that talagang yeah. gusto niya talaga so when it comes to uh, those gigs it was mostly my dad's connections which I appreciate that so it's mostly on him kung paano na contact ng Sky Church and talagang not a lot of people have that opportunity na yeah, totoo, ano, totoo. malaking gig agad first gig parang yeah. Kung nakita mo ako, sobrang confident ko sa video. Pero pag baba ako, yung legs ko pag ganun na. Parang, <laughs> nga nga tog-gatog pa, no? Kimatay ako sa kotse. Ah. <laughs> pero fulfilling, di ba? Mm, so like, mostly, I haven't played for any bigger bands yet other than Sky Church. Kasi, yeah. Sky Church lang talaga yung mga alam ko. That's, the only bands I played for is Sky Church and sayang, hindi pa slap shock. Pero, mm-hmm. Chelsea Alley is the closest. Yung mm-hmm. bagong band nila, ano, Tito Ansing and Chico. Mm-hmm. So, yan talaga. Then I got to play with them and then play with Sky Church. Sky Church mostly is my parang ano, um, dun talaga ako sa kanila. Parang three gigs na ako or four halos sa kanila with them. So mostly just playing one or two songs. Parang featuring lang. Mm-hmm. So I get an experience to that and it's a great feeling. So yun lang yung parang journey ko. It's not really mm-hmm. anything complicated. My, just, my dad just gave, like, did a couple of calls and that's pretty much it. Yeah. 
alam ko nag-take ka ng uh, mad P mm, lesson. Si Michael Alba. Yeah. Paano ka napunta sa drums? And how come na mas pinurso mo as maging drummer? Rather, guitarist, nagbe-bass ka din. So, how come na mas nag-focus ka sa drums? Because like, nothing beats the feeling of beating those like skins, right? Yeah. Talagang, mm, guitar, you still have to be a little bit more musically inclined to mm-hmm. talagang solo over it with drums talagang stress relief sa akin yun eh, yeah. and there's not a lot of kid drummers out there so I want to be one of them like yeah. may nakita akong bata na nag drums na Avenged Sevenfold I don't know if you've seen that video mm-hmm. Avenged Sevenfold binadra- si Momo da ano, yeah si Zian mm, mm. I met I met him way back 2017 mm, 18 uh, around ano pa siya nun mga 5 or 6 mm. years old kaya hindi pa ako drums nun eh. So, he got me beat there. Kaya yeah. na-inspire ako dun eh. Parang, wow! Mm-mm. Damn! Ganyang, ganyang kaliit na bata, tas ang laka ng set, hindi pa nga abot eh. <laughs> oh, totoo. So, talagang na-impress ako sa kanya. And I was like, I wanna be that. I wanna yeah. be that. So, talagang, I look upon lots of drummers and talagang sobrang ganda ng drums. Kasi guitar, I learned that mga late na talaga, parang 2-3 years na ako nagda-drums. Mm-hmm. Kasi my first thought talaga, drums. Kasi nothing nothing's cooler than being behind a kit. Just talagang yeah. animal ka talaga. Boom, 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 boom talagang. Yeah. It's a great feeling. Always yeah. exhausting. Great workout. Talagang fresh mind ko palagi. And it's, I'm gonna be honest, this is probably just my thoughts. Pero it's a lot easier to get uh, into than guitar and bass. Kasi you have a lot of music theory to learn. And of course, mm-hmm. I'm not saying walang music theory drums. There's a lot. Look at jazz drummers. But drums are a lot more straightforward. Yeah. Because everyone knows how to make a simple beat with their hands. Yeah. Now you just got to incorporate your feet and then that's where the magic happens. Yeah, yeah. Paano ka napasok sa kay Sir Mike? Inano ako ng papa ko, in-enroll ako kasi yeah. talagang kita niya committed ako almost every single day for five hours a day. I was just on my drums yung yeah. parang first fi- few months ko. Tapos in-enroll niya ako dun kasi he really wants me to pursue talaga maging musician. Mm. Ayaw niya ako kasi I have a, I'll be honest, I have a tendency to parang ano, lose interest quickly. Mm. Parang may gitara ako dati, binigyan ako ng bata ako, acoustic. Yeah. I lost interest immediately after like a week or two. Mm-hmm. Parang talagang tinry ko, I really didn't like it. Yeah. So tinry ko din other instruments like really weird instruments like parang Japanese koto, parang tinry ko talaga lahat kahit ano. Hindi ko talaga nagustuhan yeah. until nakita ko drums talagang sobrang straightforward eh. Wala, wala masyadong ano, pitch relation or wala kang tutunan na chords ganun. Yeah. Talagang you just gotta learn beat and then go from there. Yeah. So that's how talagang invite ako sa ano, invite, like sabi ng papa ko, you should go to ano, kila Michael Alba yeah. para dun ka talaga matututo and madami ang natutunan din. Yeah. So if If ever na li- nakikinig sila Sir Michael, like, I appreciate like all the things you've taught me and I still use them to this day. Like, siya yung nagturo sa akin kung paano maging solid drummer. Yeah. Like as in, all the techniques, how to read notes, rim shots, how to actually play with a face. Kasi yeah. dati, gano'n. Yeah, parang, <laughs> ha- kailangan kita mukha mo. May, may facial expression talaga habang mm. bumapalo. Yeah. Kasi, at the end of the day, since you're a drummer, you have to, ano, pag live, you have to entertain, not yeah. just play. That's why people paid to sh- ano, like see you. Yeah. Kasi talaga, um, oh, I want to see them live. That's not gonna no, so. <laughs> <laughs> Walang walang yung, ano eh, walang emotion sa mukha, di ba? Parang mm. sayang naman. Pa, lagyan niyo naman ng giggle, di ba? Eh, may tama, di ba? <laughs> yeah. Kaya gusto niya talaga ako dun. Kasi they they don't just teach me to be a good musician. They teach me to be a great performer. Yeah. So Totoo. maganda. So if anyone's planning to go there, do it. Sobrang mm-hmm. worth it. Yeah. Because, paano ka naman natuto into mixing naman? Mm, yun. So, if uh, if we go back on like uh, my previous things, sabi ko, I had a band, Lavenders, that's my first band. Yeah. We didn't know anything. Like, legit, we just thought, oh, gawa tayo ba? Eh, sige. Yun. Mm-hmm. Tapos, in-invite ako. In-invite ako, yung drummer. They really didn't do much when it comes to recording. My guitarist, uh, who is a good friend of mine, really wasn't up to parang med mal palagi siyang unavailable when yeah. it comes to recording so dun din ako kung paano natuto maggitara mm. kasi he couldn't record anything like legit couldn't record kasi he's always busy and most of the time wala din siyang gitara so that's where i learned how to guitar and then natuto ako kung paano magmix kasi i wanted to record our songs mm. like 
Just a simple thing. Oh, video tayo, tas re-record ko. So, mm. may papa ko may parang focus right na maliit. Yeah. Tas uh-huh. tinuro sa akin kung paano gamitin sa iPad or mm. sa phone, ganun. So, yun, ginamit ko garage band. Doon ako nag-record. Tas mm. parang, doon ako naging interested in mixing. Parang kasi, oh, parang maganda tong mix to. Ah. Parang mas maganda, itas ko tong kick. Kasi I have freedom of choice to what our final sound yeah. sounds like. Mm-hmm. Then fast forward a few years, talagang kinarir ko talaga. Pinapanood ko lahat ng nail the mix. Ganun. Yeah. Tas idol, number one idol ko na ano, sound engineer, si Nolly from Periphery. Yeah. Yun talaga, he's my number one idol and I strive to be like him talagang um, evolving the mm. ano, mixing, uh, metal mixing talaga. Yeah. Tsaka si Henrik Ud, if you guys aren't familiar with that. Yung nagmix ng Architects tsaka Eminence. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I really wanted to be like them kasi ang, ang laki ng sound nila. Yeah. The drum sound, huge guitar, sobrang bigat. Yung vocals, parang piercing talaga. So yeah. yun talaga, I really wanted to be a sound engineer and it's so much fun to hear from raw mix to full. So, yeah. That's why talagang passion ko talaga yun. Si Papa mo is nasa band, like sa, mm. sa Slap Shack. Ano yung kinalakihan mong music nung lumalaki ka kasama si Papa mo? Yung mga usual people, di ba, may parang, they usually listen to pop or whatever they like and then may face silang metal, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Yung mga usual ta. Oh, baliktad. Uh-huh. Ako, I grew up with metal then may maliit akong face na nahila ko sa dubstep, trap, pop, mga mm. ganun. That's just a small phase of my life. Then bumalik ako sa metal. So yeah. parang, in my entire life talagang metal. Parang four years old pa lang ako, may video pa ako sa YouTube. I don't know if you guys can find that. But like, I was jamming out to Slipknot. Uh, uh, before I forget specifically, that yeah. song was my jam when I was a kid. Talagang yun yung at, oh, magnum opus ko na, I love metal. Dun talaga ako. And mm-hmm. then biglang, I kind of phased out a little bit. Talagang, my dad really wants me to get into different kinds of music. So I did. Yeah, I got, I got interested in mga Vocaloid, mga Japanese music, mga pop, ganon. And then after that, medyo na, na nag-whittle down ako sa music. Parang hindi na talaga ako nakikinig sa music eh. Kasi mm-hmm. main passion ko dati, drawing, like mm-hmm. animation. Eh ngayon, uh, nag-music ako. Talagang, what introduced me to metal talaga, like kinarir ko talaga metal, is architects. Yeah. Sila talaga yung nag-inspire sa akin na, Parang Avenged Sevenfold is my number one. They're the mm-hmm. band that talagang my entire life. I mean, my sisters, my sister, sorry, my sister and my brother are named after ano, the band and stuff. Yeah. Si Aven, my, ano, my brother, ano siya, Avenged ng part. Ako seven kasi it's Avenged yeah. Seven. Mm-hmm. And yung sister ka naman si Heaven kasi Little Piece of Heaven yung song nila. Yeah. So talagang, favorite band ng buong family yun. Mm. So, I thought, at least, oh, so parang ngayon lang na, at least, di ba, parang may trivia pala yung mga names nyo, mm-hmm. which is, kinuha sa Avenged Sevenfold pala. Talagang idol ko sila. The drummer, si The Rev, was my main inspiration talaga. So, uh, talagang, ta- kala ko, Avenged Sevenfold is the heaviest. There's nothing heavier out there. Talagang, yeah. yun talaga pinakamabigat sa akin. Mm-hmm. And then, narinig ko, Architects, <laughs> <laughs> May ganito pala. What's uh-huh. this? I need this. I want it. And then, so, in-explore ko lahat. Tinanood ko lahat ng album ng Architects. Yun lang yung favorite ko talaga. <laughs> then, Bring Me the Horizon. Then, na, na-introduce ako sa metalcore. And that's, yun, permanent na talaga sa akin metal. It's never mm-hmm. moving back. So, talaga, my dad has a huge influence to what music I listen to. And I appreciate that. Kasi, I love metal and I never knew that it would change my life this much. Kaya yeah. ako nandito metal eh. <laughs> Way back nung na-introduce na ako ng metal, first na tape na meron ako is yung first album ng dad nyo. Ah, dad, mm. dad mo. Hindi, ay hindi, mali. Uh, ano pala? Second, Head Trip. Head Trip. Yeah. Yung ano tayo. Yeah. Yan yung first na tape na meron ako noon. Kasi wala na yung first album noon eh. Na, nahirapan ako maghanap sa mga Odyssey, sa mga record bars na available sa amin mm. dati before. Pero ano ba yun? 1919. Hindi, 2000 na. <laughs> Funny story actually. Parang kakapon lang actually. Nag-digging through ako sa basement namin or sa yeah. bodega namin. Ang dami ko nakahanap ng mga CD na Slap Shock. Yeah. Meron pa kami classic cassette tape. Tapos ano, meron pa silang parang DV, like CD performance na super old na parang yeah. first live nila ng She's a Wicked. Ganun talagang. Mm. Hinanap ko yun kasi gusto ko talagang HD files. So, yeah. yeah. 
na naalala ko lang yun kasi kahapon nakita ko lahat ng mga SVD parang as a sound engineer hura of files puro mga <laughs> flak ang yeah. ganda paano si papa mo sa'yo and sa family mo paano siya naging father sa'yo naging influencer sa'yo na go to music tell us about your father my father talagang I was really close to my dad tsaka mom ko they're like honestly I feel a little I know parang parang spoiled daw parang my parents are so great to me talagang they really raised me into who I am right now and I love them for that talagang sometimes hindi ko napapakita pero talagang I would not want to like be separated from them talaga so mm-hmm. my dad was like a huge huge part of my life kung bakit ako ganito ngayon yeah. without my dad man parang I don't know what I'll become. Yeah. Parang siya nag-introduce sa akin ng music. He, no matter what I did, kahit hindi music, kahit if I just had a passion in something, yeah. talagang kakarilin niya parang, oh, gawin mo to. Sige, gusto mo? Gawin mo. Mm. So, talagang nah- mahilig ako mag-drawing dati. Parang anime gano'n, mahilig ako mag-drawing. Binila na ako ng iPad Pro na may tablet na ano yung, yung pen. Yeah. Talagang lahat binigay sa akin na kung kailangan ko. So, I feel very very spoiled as a kid talaga um, she gave me everything i wanted and not just like physical but like uh inspiration din talaga like sinasama niya ako palagi sa gig yeah and i was always dun sa likod pinapanood ko siya palagi was like wow ganito pala papa ko and i'm gonna be really honest about this right now i never really truly understood the impact my dad had on not just the metal scene but Filipinos in general yeah, when I know when he passed that's when talagang kasi it felt a little normal to me because I I grew up like kala ko oh my dad's my dad's a popular musician sure that's that's yeah. it that's kind of how I grew up that's how I perceived it as a kid yeah. but now na grow up oh, I really took it for granted like big time and I really wish you know you got to look forward in the future but you can't go back to the past like back gusto ko talaga ano parang my dad kasi siya talaga yung nagbuild talaga ng life ko so like i really took him for granted parang oh it's just, he's a special musician that's it yeah ngayon ko lang nalaman na talaga he had a massive impact on every single person yeah. i met like feel like everyone i've met so far mga friends niya after his passing talaga they give me everything they have parang sila tito ansing tinutulungan ako lahat ganon so tito chi ganon and then ma ma other friends sila the new vocalist ng ano na um, si Alice si Marion yeah yeah kasi yung guitarist nila si Ariel and so on everyone na meet ko so far so sobrang unnervingly but it's like sobra kasi like my dad doubt to them they owe him big time that's what they say anyway and I'm really honored that my dad was that humble and genuine of a person na mm-hmm. when he passed tala, um, parang inisip niya sa future talaga if if parang feeling ko inisip niya if ever I'm gone or there's any situation na wala ako I know my friends na ana I know yung mga kasama ko they'll take care of my family tala. yeah We got so much help from not just yung friends ng mga papa ko, the slap armies they're all super nice people like they aren't rude at all pag nakita ko picture lang and then counting chat sobrang mm. bait nila it's like yeah. i'm so honored that my dad was such a humble person that it it benefits the whole family in the uh, in the future kasi talagang since mabait siya talagang they really owe him a lot yeah that's what they say uh, yun na parang paulit ulit lang kasi yun lang masabi kasi eh. sobrang <laughs> ano siya eh. yeah. he inspired millions of people so the metal scene and he's one of the This is probably oh going overboard, but like to me, he's like one of the top, talang innovators of metal in the Philippines. Like with Greyhounds, Kamikaze, talang isa ng kasama don. Like one of the tops. May pressure ba na nafeel ka ngayon dahil sa dad mo is i icon sa metal? Well, back in the early days, talang as soon as like he passed, I felt a huge amount of pressure on me because a lot of people were contacting me and a lot of ano. Uh, this and that is happening talagang kasi lahat ng iniwan yung mga projects nasa akin na mm-hmm. mga bago niyang songs nasa akin yung files I had to send them to my uncles and mga uh, ano ganun they went to from US mga tito pumunta to ano the Philippines so that we can take care of the music side of things yeah. find all his files and ganun from my phone from my iPad lahat ng files so talagang 
not just from that. Talagang people really want to view me as the next Jamir Garcia. Yeah. So, gusto nila talagang, oh, vocalist papa mo, di ba? You have to be a vocalist then. So, mm-hmm. may onting pressure din dun kasi what if they don't like my stuff? Kasi yeah. medyo, if we compare myself to my dad, my dad's very old school. Talagang mahilig siya sa old rock, vintage. Hindi, ta- hindi talaga siya matrip sa mga super modern metal. Ganun. Yeah. Ako kasi, periphery, I love that stuff. Um, animals as leaders, mga complicated, experimental, try something other people haven't tried type of music. So I don't know if people will like that, but we'll see. That's that's mostly just a fear na na brush off kon after a few years. Because mm-hmm. alam ko the pressure is all fake. Because alam ko no matter what the slap armies will be there to support our family. Yeah, yeah. Say there, all of them are great people. Every single one I've met, some I've even became friends with. Kaya sobrang yeah. bait talaga ng slap army. So. Mm-hmm. I don't really feel a lot of pressure, but when it comes to my band, wala din pressure. Sometimes, kasi may nararash ko. Kailangan ko yung yung music video or yung yung mix ganon. Yeah. Kasi we're starting out. We need to make a name. So nga, mga first album, nararash ko pa onte kasi we don't want the band to die out a little early. Second album, pa na mag chillax on. <laughs> kasi yun medyo na release namin first. So this first album talagang yeah, no ka pam. Medyo na pressure ako don. Pero yeah. na a little bit. My friends, mga kabanda ko, sobrang supportive and they love what I'm doing. So they just leave me be and let me do my thing. So no pressure at all with the slap armies, music related stuff, and even my band. So no pressure at all. I'm living the life right now. <laughs> <laughs> Balik tayo sa caliber project. Paano kayo magsulat ng songs or ano yung mga inspiration uh, style sa lyrics? Sinong gumagawa ng lyrics? And then after ba ng isang kanta, re-record or pre-prod muna? That's actually, kasi we just, ano, ngayon lang namin na, na, naka-establish ng how do we actually write music. Ngayon lang kami may parang forte into how that stuff works. Yeah. Dati kasi ako lahat bahala. Four mm-hmm. hours, um, pinakita ko ni Rafael ano, ng riff. Like, tingnan mo to. Sabi ko, okay, give me that riff. Mm-hmm. Gagawin ko into a full song. I did it. I made it into a full song. All lyrics are mine. Ganun. So practically four hours, ako lahat nagsulat. Mm-hmm. So I thought magiging ganun for the rest of the band. Aggression then Lyrics naman dun. Snap me si Kiera naman nagsulat nun. Pero instrumental, ano, mostly yung mga early songs ng Caliber. It was mostly mga songs ko lang na, no, kasi as a sound engineer, I just like to write songs out of nowhere and then, wala na ako na mangyari. Yeah. So mga parang stock songs ko lang na binigay ko lang. Mm. Yun lang, yun lang. And then, kinuha nila, nilagyan nila ng lyrics. And that's kind of how we wrote back in the day. Ngayon, how we actually write is great. Uh, kasi kala ko, nasistress ako, parang ako lahat gagawa ng kanta eh. <laughs> Mga riff, ganun. Kasi pag, the way they write, sobrang hindi metal dati. Yeah. Ngayon, talagang tatawagin ako, Raf, Uy, Devin, may bago ako, pakinggan mo to. Yes, yeah. ako, kaya na, sige, sige. So, sila na bahala. Ako lang, ako lang mag-mimix. Ako lang mag-de-drums. Si Skylar, si Skylar na bahala sa lahat ng lyrics mostly. Yeah. Tapos siya talaga, talagang, Seven, I learned this new thing. Tamo, pakinggan mo itong lyrics na to. You like it? Ganon. Talagang pinapakita sa akin. They're proud to show it to me. And I'm super proud that they learned so fast. Yeah. Parang, I'm gonna be honest. This is a small spoiler on our second album. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna sound significantly different from the first and more consistent. Kasi first album namin, naghahanap pa kami ng style. Mm-hmm. Kasi not everyone was metal. So we yeah. kind of leaned into alt-rock muna. Mm-hmm. Play it safe. So yeah. Made distorted guitars. Parang it's not that heavy. It's still rock. Yeah. It's rock. And ngayon, nagust- I introduced them to architects. I introduced them to this and that. And then talagang dun nila nalaman, oh man, this is this is the good stuff, man. Yeah. Then dun sila natuto mag-write. Yeah. So, so na jive na jive nila yung music na finid mo sa kanila. Mm, sobra and then they give me their own music tastes. So I I know Sleep Token and Lorna Shore because of them. So like introduce yeah. akin. I didn't know those bands. Yeah. Sila nag introduce akin which is great. And that's fantastic. So now yung when it comes to writing our process is essentially we make a song, one of us makes a song, parang yeah. just a raw song, like simple idea. It doesn't have to be a full one, 30 seconds ganun. 
nagpapakita sa rest of the band members. Kunyari, si Rafael, he gives me a riff. O seven, pakinggan mo to. And then, sasabihin ko, oh, that's dope. Lagyan ko kayo ng ganito. Yeah. Natatawagan namin si Kiara, uy, Kiara, baka may maisip kang lead dito. And then, mm-hmm. once may instrumental na kami, bibigay namin kay Skylar. Skylar, baka may vocals ka dito eh. Mm-hmm. Pero si Skylar, sobrang ganda mag ng melodies. Lots of the songs na ano, nasa Caliber were my throwaway songs. Tinapon ko lang. Mm-hmm. I hated those songs. Until, <laughs> nilagyan ng lyrics tas gumanda sobra. Uh, As in, ay, chop-chop na lang. Kung baga, kunin natin tong part na to, tapon to, mm, ganun Parang na ganun. Or maybe just take the whole song. Ganun. Yeah. There, there's this one song, yung biggest song namin na i-unveil namin sa Jerez, sa Makati, on 25, if you guys wanna watch us. Ano, we're gonna unveil that song. It's one of our biggest songs. It's around seven, eight minutes. There's full oh. orchestra. May backing track. <laughs> Sinuriosa talaga namin. Uh-huh. That was one, one of my personal songs. Lang. I hated that song. Mm-hmm. Tina- so, tinapon ko yung song na yun kasi it's not my style. It's very emotional. It's very experimental. It's not my style. Tinapon ko. Then, eight months later, nakita ni Skyler yung song. Sabi niyo, bro, this song is the best. Yeah. Can, can I do something to this song? Sabi ko, yeah, sure. I hate this song. Sayana. Mm-hmm. Then, he came back with the most well thought out lyrics yeah. ever. As in, I hated that song. Now it's my number one song. <laughs> oh, Sky, man. Uh-huh. Okay, shut up, man. You're so good at writing songs, dude. You gotta keep doing that more. So like, that song, I hated so much. I threw it away. I didn't want anyone to listen to it. Yeah. He found it. He wrote on it. Man, it's one of the greatest songs we have right now. And I hope <laughs> everyone enjoys that song because it's very experimental. Yeah. Yan mi yung plano yung uh, may music video? Uh, yun yung iniisip namin if there is a music video or not kasi yung pinipili namin mga our greatest songs yeah. kasi it's a long song and we don't have the budget for that but hopefully we, we're actually in the talks of a music video right now for yeah. it but we're still on the fence about it so mm-hmm. we're not entirely sure about it uh, at the end of the day whatever happens happens gusto namin may music video but we'll see what what kind of budget a bunch of college students have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you fit din sa budget, kasi schooling pa talaga mm, kayo. So, eh. sa format namin pag write, it's basically, may gagawa riff, and then bibigay sa lahat sa amin, then we place our ideas, then bibigay kay Skyler, or kay Kiera, since they're both our vocalists, then susulatan yung lyrics, bam, we got a good song. Paano kayo magre-record dun sa, sa bahay niyo lang? For the first album, I record all of the instruments. Because they're not sila sanay sa how do you actually record properly? Because they're great live, but I'm gonna be honest. When it comes to recording, it's a little bit tricky. Yeah. Because they're not maganda yung pagpick nila. Eh. Yeah. I don't hear. I don't hear great pick attack. It's yeah. very messy. They don't know how to mute that well yet. They're improving a lot. Sobra ngayon mm-hmm. to the point where second album sila na bahala sila na record wala na ako <laughs> First album, ako nagrecord ng lahat ng guitara, bass, drums. I did all. The the instrumentals. Yeah. So that's what's gonna happen for the first album. Para lang maganda sound because I don't want our first album to sound like amateur stuff. Yeah. No offense yeah. to them because alam nilang second album talagang kaya na nila. They mm-hmm. are improving rapidly. Anjan na sila na nag-contribute din. Sobra. Wala na akong ginagawa. Parang wala na akong kwenta sa band eh. <laughs> Taga-mix lang na libre. Oh. So yun, ano, that's how we do it. And then pag sa vocals, they go to my house kasi kwarto ko maliit lang. Pero, May studio monitors na ako, naka sound treatment, talagang may area ako talaga for recording vocals, 80, mm-hmm. 20, 35 mic ginagamit ko. Yeah. It's para consistent lahat. And then that's where they record vocals and their final takes. And then yeah. essentially just a mini studio. Yeah. yeah. Tapos yung drums. Yung drums, ano, mostly MIDI. Pero ako nagre-record sa ano ko, al- avatar ko. Yeah. Avatar electronic drums. Kasi I don't want to write something that... Yeah. Yun live. I made a mistake. We have this one and a song. It's called Sound Check, which is just a sound check na song. Yeah. Pff, bad bad idea. Because the <laughs> sovereign but double pedal nun parang unrealistic, long yeah. and short type stuff. Double stroke na yun. Eh, no? Nung ni live ko sa first gig namin, nagka ano nagka sore ako dito. Hindi ako malakad. Yeah. Kasi hindi pa maayos technique ko. Taswa lang triggers. Yun yung masakit. So, yeah. Mahina talaga. So kailangan ko lakasan. So I had to change the drum parts and that's when I learned, okay, maybe if I'm going to write my own drum parts, I actually have to know how to play it. Yeah. Because you don't have a story when you play it and you don't have to play it in live. Eh. So how is that? Well, I mean, that's a good technique to improve, but I, know, I, just do, I do that sometimes for our other songs. But at the end of the day, when I'm the drums, I want real drums, but I don't have the budget. So 
electronic is the way to go for me and yeah. I use my products ni Nolly which is GGD yeah. and products now Mixwave all of that I have parang 150 gigabytes worth no Oh, 150 gigabytes worth of just drum VSTs. Wow. Puro drums lang kasi. <laughs> yun yun lang gusto ko, drums lang eh. Yeah. I really love drums. So like, mga amps ko parang 20 gigabytes lang, vocal effects, other plugins. Drums talaga ang pinakamalaki sa mga library ko. So uh-huh. that's when it comes to recording sa so drums. Ano yung ultimate dream mo na until now is, since bata ka pa naman, na winning workout mo talaga, na ma-achieve mo as a, a sound engineer and also... A drummer. My number one dream is to have ano talaga. Um, I don't want a big dream. I don't want to be the best. I just wanna ano. I just wanna have basically sound engineering or drumming or this band as my full time job. Yeah. Because if I'm doing what I love doing and I earn money from it. Yeah. There's no stopping me. I'm unstoppable. So yun talaga gusto. Um, talang kinakarir ko yung sound engineering. I'm going to here and there. I actually ano try to audition for Tower of Doom. Mm. Para mag work sa Canada. They're still not choosing people, pa, so I'm not entirely sure what my position is. But I got shortlisted. I even went to their ano, place with Arcadia to see how they yeah, track stuff. Uh, Ganon. Kaya na 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 contact kita dahil kay Kenneth. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Done. So kinontak na. So I got here with that. I went to their ano, studios to see how things work. I mm. really, really wanna be ano talagang sound engineering is my passion yeah. type thing. Drumming okay pa, eh, pero Drumming is like, parang passion ko din, pero pa naging secondary passion ko. Main ko talaga sound engineering. Talaga yeah. Playing around with sounds, doing this and that, exploring this and that, what sounds you can make. Yeah. That is what blew my mind and I want to do that forever. Yeah. Unforgettable gig na worse and good na nasalangan mo with the session and the caliber project. Okay, so what do you want to start with, good or bad? Uh, both. both. <laughs> Sabay agad. <laughs> like, good muna. Oh, good muna para ano. <laughs> maganda yung trip and then magka-crash and burn mamaya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yung pinaka-best namin is yung event ng mama ko which is Raka Jaya. I don't know yeah. if you're familiar with that event. It's basically ano, birthday event ng mama ko where she invites a bunch of bands to play. Yeah. That's it. Actually, sa Marikina, sa East Side. Mm. I don't know if you're familiar with East yeah. Side, that yeah. venue. Dun mostly Raka Jaya and it's always fun pag Raka Jaya kasi it's just, walang bayad. Mama ko usually nagbabayad ng, ano, ng venue. Yeah. Then after that, invite lang ng mga band na gusto lang maglaro. Like, yeah. for fun lang. No, pag nagkamali ka, wala yan. For uh-huh. fun lang. Yun talaga, unforgettable experience ko which is yung this year's Raka Jaya kasi that's when someone actually shout out to our friend si ano Mark, great ass vocalist, fantastic vocalist, and then me channel then she's going underground where he posts videos of underground bands. Yeah. Binijo nami, uh, binijo kami, and that's the first time we saw ourselves live. Yeah. Like like live talaga, like full recording na maganda audio na hindi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah. Ganda nami. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but wow, we sound good live. So that's when. Hanggang ngayon, I still watch those videos on YouTube every day. It's yeah. on repeat for me kasi sobrang, wow, na-impress ako dun. Na, na-fascinate ka sa tunog niya rin nun. Mm, that's yeah. how we sound live. Woo! Yeah. We need to do this. We need to, talagang, yun yung unforgettable moment ko when it comes to gigs. Sure, there's the first time we gig, but that was a complete mess. But yeah. that's not the worst. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's my best gig. Worst naman namin. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say the place kasi baka magka bad rep. But like, <laughs> there's this place na in-invite lang kami. We're supposed to play a full set of four songs, two covers, kasi gusto na two covers and two originals. Yeah. What essentially happened is we got to the venue and then may mga, not to hate on indie artists at all. You got, there's some great indie artists yeah. out there. But like, a lot of them were very uh, moody and mm. had like some kind of attitude yeah. and there was this one band oh my god they were so sobrang tagal nila they were just supposed to play three songs yeah. na si Neven na seven or six they played Jopai three times <laughs> galing <laughs> Jopai tatlong beses na ano ako sa tingin nun uh, umay na no? uh, tas sobrang tagal tas sobrang tagal nila hindi ko alam bakit yung mga ano, yung mga organizers hindi sila pinababa or something mm. baka so, tropa nila yun no? maybe <laughs> <laughs> so, parang six, seven. It's like 30 minutes. Oh, uh-huh. it was so bad. My band got to only play two songs, oh. and there was this one band that na naawa talaga. Hindi sila nakalaro kasi wala ng oras. 
Mm, dahil sa may ba- ano na rin, because, na rin. Because of that indie band. Yeah. So, I really feel bad for them. They they went, na, so, it's like, talagang out of luck talaga sila nun eh. Kasi, yung pagdating nila, nalak yung kotse nila, so hindi na makuha instruments. Uh-huh. Then, nung ready na sila, it's lights out, no more gig. Mm. So, I feel bad for them. And it's all because parang, those indie artists had to have played Jopai three times. <laughs> worst gig namin. Tapos wala pa sa tono ng gitarista namin kasi parang minadali kami ng ano, organizers. Mm-hmm. So that was probably our uh, worst experience so far. Yeah. Ano yung mga gears ma gamit mo ngayon? Like from the pedals, the snare, kung may dala ka lagi, or cymbals? Mm, most of the time, I don't really bring my own snare because usually the venue has it. Cymbals, minsan-minsan. Depends on the, no, if it's a small gig, I usually don't bring it. But if it's, it's a bigger gig, I, of course, have to bring my cymbals, which are, I know, my sponsor, Armada. Thank you guys for, like, yeah. giving me cymbals. It's, I still use them to the, uh, till this day. I take good care of them. And, man, they are some really humble and nice Anong people. model niyan? Anong model? Uh-huh. Um, they gave me varieties, like, different talaga, may effects ako doon. They, they didn't give me one specific series. Yeah. So, they gave me multiple to try out. May malaki akong effect symbol na sobrang laki, mas malaki pa sa kick drum, tas butas, butas. Yeah. Then, they gave me the tiniest China symbol, you kalamos yeah. flash eh. So, talagang, this gave me some experimental symbols and I'm mm. super happy with that and I'm yeah. glad they gave me that opportunity. Uh, all I want to thank is Armada for really just given me symbols because when it comes to gear it's mostly armada symbols for me like mm. every single symbol na dadalhin ko sa mga big gigs talagang from them yeah from them specifically and i don't want either way because their symbols talagang sanay na ako sa tunog sanay na ako sa feel so yeah talagang gusto ko if i had a preference i'd choose them so mm. they're great Chaka local support your local brand yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yun and then yeah that's what i bring the gigs and then when it comes to my pedals actually I gusto ko upgrade pedals ko it's an a pearl demon chain ngayon chain ah. gusto ko turn into drive because mm-hmm. our, our music's getting faster and faster yeah. kalao magdug pa gagan na ako kasi medyo uh-huh. rock kami dati ngayon tech death metal gusto nila eh uh-huh. gusto na may triggers and everything di ko kaya sa pedals ko mabigat luds yeah. mabigat sobra so sabi ko Sige, mag-upgrade ako. Pero right now, yung pedals ko, yeah, Pearl Demon Chain, which there's actually a fun story to that. Uh, in-invite ako ng papa ko pa, ano, nagpasama siya sa akin. Sabi, tara, punta tayo sa music store. Tingin yeah. tayo ng stuff. Kasama si Chi. So, pumunta kami sa music store. Nagpa-testing kami ng pedals. Nag-testing kami ng pedals. Pina-testing sa amin yung Demon Chain and Demon Drive. Yeah. Ganda, sobra. Sabi ko sa papa, this is my dream. So, pag alis namin sa store, bumili si Chi, may box na siya, hawak-hawak. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, Christmas Day came. Mm. I got the best gift ever. Demon chains. <laughs> De, nasa drums ako parang isang week. Parang dun na din ako natulog. Eh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Demon chain. Ang sarap. Ang, parang walang... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Walang latency. As yeah. in, nandun na talaga. High chain. Yeah. As for a chain, talagang... Kasi last ano ko, Iron Cobra from my tito. Mm. Talagang, yun, mabigat. So, yeah. I never uh-huh. experienced good, like, smooth gliding feel. Yeah. So, paano pa, di ba? Pag drive yung nakuha ko. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mas... Tapos antayin mo na lang yung ano, yung parating natin na Pearl XR, Demon XR. Yun yung bagong signature ni ano, ni George Collias. Yun. Yan. Baka ano yun, baka mid-October ang dating. So, Sala may pera ako ba din? <laughs> <laughs> Benta mo yung Demon Drive mo tapos yun na. <laughs> mm, ganun. Medyo Say, ano lang, medyo expensive lang siya pero good naman. Mm, sana yun, makuha ko din. Kasi the reason why ano, the, that story is parang may ano sa akin is kasi that moment pala, nung binili ni, yung papa ko, those pedals, yung kasama ni Chi, turns out binili niya din dun. Like, but at the same time na talaga. Mm. So, bought it at the same time. And then, he just never told me. Yeah. Parang, <laughs> Surprise! Tapos nakita ko sa studio na, bakit may box dito? Sabi niya, kay Chi lang yan. Uh-huh. Yun pala sa akin eh. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, Tapos, di ba niregaluhan ka din ng, yung drums mo na Ludwig? Breakbeat? Mm. Uh-huh. Doon talaga ako na, ano, na in love mag-acoustic then the acoustic feel. Yeah. Doon nabenta yung TD-17 ko which is, in my opinion, probably my dumbest decision ever. Mm. Dapat, I, sh- I should have just kept the t- uh, TD-17 Roland kit kasi high-end na talaga yun. Tapos, Parang, pwede na din yun endgame halos eh. Mm-hmm. Parang sa atin, as a Filipino, kasi mahal prices dito. Yeah. Parang, 
pwede yun end game end game na talaga yun mm-hmm. and nabenta ko cuz now i need an electronic kit so yeah. nag-ipon na ako and then bumili ako sa ano school armada ng avatar and it's mm-hmm. great so far If you guys want to support your local brands, bili kayo ng Armada, ano, dun sa may Armada for drum stuff, yeah. scope, pag guitar. Yung Avatar drums na is great. It feels great. Talagang ginaganan ko. Yeah. Yung, yung sticks yung nababali, hindi yan eh. <laughs> yung, yeah, heavy duty. Mm, yung TD-70, natatanggal pa plastic. Pero uh-huh. dun talaga, kasi it's an actual shell. Yeah. Shell talaga. Uh-huh. So, yun. Kahit ano gawin mo, palitan mo lang yung head, okay na. Beside drum techniques, ano pa yung mga important na dapat matutunan ng isang artist or kagaya natin ng mga drummer? Hmm. When it comes to artists, because um, I have two different advice for, you know, from what I learned anyway, I'm not the greatest at everything, I'll just say that. This is just mostly what I learned, so hopefully, you know, people could use that in the future. But for me, what I essentially learned is um, for artists, You need to be compatible with everyone. Sure, it's great to be in metal. It's great yeah. to be in pop. It's great to be in your main genre. But you gotta be compatible with everything. Yeah. Really explore the boundaries. You don't like jazz, pakinggan mo. Mm-hmm. You don't like K-pop, eh, pakinggan mo din. Mm-hmm. Diba? You know, as much as people make fun of those genres, you gotta <laughs> listen to them to what yeah. are open talaga. You might, malay mo, you might even get inspiration. Bring me the horizon. One of one of my favorite songs sa kanila is King Slayer. Yeah. Who would expect that? Baby metal, chaka, no? Bring me the horizon. What? Uh, what? Diba? No one expects that. So, yun talaga, kailangan. It's so great to broaden your horizons, basically. For artists out there starting out, really just open your mind. Be open to anything. Don't just stick to one, stick to multiple. Get comfy. Yeah. yeah. And for drummers, naman, what I recommend them is really that um, learn to be disciplined. Yun talaga. Kasi yeah. dati when I used to play, I was like, simple song. Nilalagyan agad. Parang walang five seconds na, there's no four same bars. Lahat yeah. may feel na kahit ano-ano. Mm. Tapos papa, tapos lalagyan ko ng blast beat. <laughs> <laughs> so talagang, fills impress the audience, but pocket gives you money. Yeah. And, uh, money making beat. Mm. <laughs> If you just, to the people it's not that impressive to to pack to to pack but to everyone else yung mga mga hire sa that's what they're looking for yeah. they want someone who has discipline who knows their stuff and doesn't want to show off yeah. so it's okay to show off but it's great to i uh, know do your job don't just go crazy and blah 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 again yeah so at the end of the day what a drummer does is to keep time and be on beat if you go uh, like away from the beat are you even a drummer yeah uh, Because it doesn't have doesn't have to be the most complex beat. John Bonham, Charles, Dave Grohl, my simple beat song, simple rock beats. But yeah. they're well known. Yeah. Because yeah. it's it's because they did their job well, and they're not doing those super complex things. Yeah. They're making iconic, and they're serving that. Yon, you gotta serve the song. Yeah, toto, toto. Yon. So that's my biggest tip for mga drummers. Tanga, just be disciplined for artists and for drummers. Learn the pocket and just. Learn the song. Stick with the song, talaga. Foreign drummer and Pinoy drummer na, na nag-inspire din sa yo. Mm. Nung nag-start ka until today, sila yung nilulok up mo pa din. Yun talaga. My number one drummer talaga that really inspired me is the Rev from ano Avenged Sevenfold. He was my very first tattoo din tila, dito sa Chesco. Yeah. So I hope pa kita kasi bakong may monetization na dito. <laughs> <laughs> so. Just to keep it mano monetization friendly. Yeah. May tattoo ako dito of the Rev when I was really uh, like mga 17. It's my first tattoo and I owe everything to the Rev for inspiring me talaga. It was really sad. I met Avenged Sevenfold nung bata ako, but never got to meet the Rev specifically. Mm-hmm. And of course, for Filipino drummers, the answer is obvious. It's my Titi Chi. Of course, she nagturo sa akin mag drums like, introduce sa akin per se. Mm-hmm. Kasi mostly when I learned drums, it was mostly me. Yeah. And no tutorials. Mm-hmm. Not makinig lang ako sa music and just did what they did. Di ko nga alam, nasasabay ko yung kick tsaka yung crush dati. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. natuto lang ako ganun. But he mostly showed me the basic ropes and how the fundamentals work. So um, I owe it to him for starting me out and my dad for helping me out. So when it comes to Filipino drummer, talagang Tito Chico of course. And then when it comes to international, it's the rev for me. Bago tayo mag-end sa ating podcast, uh, if you have special mention, shoutouts, and announcements for your upcoming gigs and releases. 
Here we go. I actually wrote this down. Yeah. Kasi <laughs> maraming gusto mong pa shout out and I really want to give them a yeah. shout out because of the fact that you know, they supported me and I'm here because of them. So, I mean, it would be a shame if uh, the least I could do is just give them a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because eventually I know this podcast is eventually going to grow. I mean, there's already a lot of, of views already. Yeah. So if this episode ever becomes popular, you know, I'll give them a shout out. That's yeah. the least I can do, man, for yeah. <laughs> them doing things. So I actually have a notepad here yeah. of a couple of names. So this is going to take me a minute. Okay. Of course, I want to mention my band members, si Kiera, si Rafael, si Chris Hyan, and Skyler. Of course, I want to mention all of my titos and titas that helped me along the way. From my mother's side and my father's side, they all really supported me no matter what I did. Yeah. And I'm super glad that they're an open family. Like, whatever you do, sige lang. Mm-hmm. You want to stop school and do music? Sige lang. You want to do this, that, go. So I'm really happy about that. I also want to thank my mom, of course. My mom and my dad, of course, the greatest people I've ever met. Because they raised me to who I am. Of course, my sister, si Heaven. Yeah. And then my ano, my little brother, si Aben. I want to give them a shout out too. Yeah. Because <laughs> eventually... Wala pa silang ano, wala pa silang solid interest. But eventually, once time comes, talagang, they're now excited to teach them new stuff yeah. and so on. Para, as an actual ano, brother, I want to be a role model talaga sa kanila. And of course, I want to give a shout out to my mom actually has a business right now. Ano siya? Yeah. Um, tag dito, she's selling mga shirts and apparel. It's called Skull Army. So if anyone wants to support yeah. our business, it's a low, uh, like a low-key business. We're still trying to keep things and like fresh and everything. But we shopping na kami, and if you guys wanna buy like clothes, bags, and shirts and stuff with original skull designs made by an uh, professional artist hired by my mom, go for it. We're all available on Shopee. We're called Skull Army PH. Yeah. And also, I wanna give a huge shout out, really, to just. In general, my friends and the slap armies. Because yeah. that's the one support sakin. I wouldn't be here without the slap armies and my family and friends. The, those people support you, so you might as well give something back to them. And this yeah. is like this is this might seem small. I say it's just a shout out, but to them it might be big, to them it might be small. At least it's better to give something rather than nothing. Yeah. Para sa akin. Uh-huh. And nung katropa ko si Jeremy Benavides, wala lang, katropa ko lang. <laughs> <laughs> Upcoming gigs. Upcoming gigs. Okay, so if anyone's around Marikina, uh, we have a gig at RS Resto Bar. Uh, on 25, we're going to be playing one of our probably biggest sets ever. Our biggest song to which I'll title drop right now. The song is called Human. It is eight min- seven, eight minutes long. We might actually have to cut it down in the final <laughs> release. It's too long. Yeah. So, bra, it's uh, very experimental. The orchestra and everything, yeah. synthesizers, all that fancy crap. And then we, that's basically what we're going to play on that gig. And basically, first time then I'm going to So, yun. That's why we're really excited for it. Yeah. So 20, I want to also give a shout out to Mad Men Nana Studios. I don't know if you guys have been to Mad Men Studios. Yeah. Parang ano, I know we rent them for their studio and they are just some great people. Like parang usual customers lang kami dun. So yun yung mga upcoming gigs namin. On 25, we're gonna be at Marikina in Harris Resto Bar. We're gonna be playing our biggest set yet. So hopefully we don't make a mistake. So <laughs> pag nagkamali kami, you'll get to watch us live magkamali. Once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yung album. Na- album. So. When, let's talk about Caliber first because I know that's what people are interested in. Caliber Project uh, album is going to be out hopefully, if not this year, you can expect it early next year. And we're actually halfway almost done. The only thing that's stopping us is education and school and stuff because we got to take that seriously. I for one am, I, know, I stopped school. I finished high school but I'm going to a full-time job so I'm going to go Yeah. Because, hey, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait to write music. I want to do it now. Yeah. So, we're going to first album. Na yun. And when it comes to, sorry, when it comes to ano, my personal albums, it depends when I'm going to release them. But I'm currently working on a personal album where ako lahat, I said, ako lahat ng music, vocals, everything production. It's all a me production. And then there's isang vocaloid, ano, vocaloid album. If you guys aren't familiar with Vocaloid, Vocaloids are essentially MIDI singers. Parang mga vocalist na MIDI lang na yeah. Japanese anime. Tas talagyan mo ng 
uh, syllable sila kakanta ganun parang experimental that's my mm. more experimental less mainstream uh, project that I just wanna you know just have fun doodle around if no one likes it who cares I like it yeah <laughs> yun yeah, those are my two personal albums one Vocaloid one me where it's everything and then Caliber Project first album so keep your eyes peeled on the Caliber Project album because that's gonna come out real soon yeah they, they keep pestering me uy nasa na yung mga ibang songs hey hi my name is Kupa pagunti ako lods thank you thank you right. Seven. Thank not you. a problem it was an honor to um, <laughs> like you. be here 